Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports, and we've got a Demons episode for you. Um, we are going to be discussing January 15th, uh, Happy Martin Luther King Day. Uh, we've got four uh, four Demon plays for you, and um, I believe we just we just have two games today, or is it three? Just two. Today. Two. Two, yeah. So continuing with uh, the uh, wild card round, um, we've got Buffalo. Uh, that game should be interesting uh, with all the, the weather there. Hopefully they can keep the field clean. Um, and we've got... Uh, yeah, Buffalo versus the Steelers, and we've got uh, Philly versus the Bucks. Two great games. We've got basketball as well. Um, so we're excited to get into these plays with you. Um, if you've never tried prize picks, use our promo code, and they'll double your first deposit up to $100. They're going to match what you put on. So um, $100 deposited gets you $200 to play with. Just use our code at the bottom of the screen, and they'll hook you up with that deal. And if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. Um, with the notifications on, you uh, will just, that's your best chance to jump on these plays before they go away. They tend to uh, get bumped or removed. We usually have one every video that uh, gets bumped or removed, um, you know, pretty quickly after the video is posted. So um, yeah, you'll just want to be able to jump on these plays right away if you like what we're getting into. Um, all right. So um, the, the plays we're going to be discussing today... Um, Actually, one thing, if you guys, I forgot to mention, if you guys don't mind liking the video, that's a huge help. We're, we're on our way to 9,000 subs, and uh, it's all been because of you guys. Like, we have the, the best community out there. Uh, we couldn't be happier with uh, the way this channel has grown and, and the type of people that it's attracting, because so much positivity, people are just kind of vibing the way we are, and we're really thankful for you guys. So if you don't mind helping us continue to grow by just liking the, the video, that's really the best thing you can do for us. All right, so... Uh, the plays we're getting into, um, I'm going to be taking uh, Josh Allen's rushing demon uh, over 59 and a half, and uh, I'm going to be taking Cade Otten's uh, receiving demon uh, 39 and a half. What are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, I'm going to be taking Dalton Kincaid for over his 59 and a half receiving yard demon, and Mike Evans for one touchdown rushing a receiving demon. All right. Okay, so um, let's get into the recap real quick. Um, so the, the demons we took in the last uh, episode for, for yesterday's slate, um, neither of mine hit. And like we said before, like these demon plays, they're they're intentionally harder to hit, so you get a higher payout. Um, but uh, my Demarcus Robinson play, uh, we took him for 59 and a half receiving yards. He only made it to uh, 44. And then my Jaden Reed play was just an absolute bust. Um, 79 and a half rushing yard, or I'm sorry, receiving yards, and uh, he didn't get a single catch. Um, you know, we, I, thankfully, most of you viewers like understand what we're doing here, but every now and again, we get a troll here and there. And I saw someone had posted like trash pick, delete your account. Like, I was like, dude, whatever. Like, yeah, um, but I, I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I, I'm not gonna like sit here all day and defend the Jaden Reed pick, but he's their, he's their number one receiver. Um, they were clearly, uh, Dallas was kind of scheming uh, to, you know, take him out of the game. Um, and uh, yeah, he didn't get much, but Green Bay dominated that game uh, without Jaden Reed. Um, Green Bay has a, a really good thing going over there, but I, I will never apologize for taking any Jaden Reed prop. Like if you know football, you know the stud that Jaden Reed is. So uh, it's never a trash pick, quote unquote. But uh, anyways, uh, you had you had a little more luck than I did. Uh, you almost got the sweep. You want to talk about your place? Yeah, um, I had a very bad day yesterday. And <laughs> uh, a part of that was my team just getting slaughtered by the Packers for the third time in the playoffs. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I take a, I took, CD Lamb for over 124 and a half receiving yard demon. Um, he got real close. This was the perfect game script for him to get this in. I had mentioned that I kind of liked Dak's demon to correlate with that, and Dak hit, but CD did not. Um, he went for 110, so like one more catch would have done it. Dak had him on like a really good go route at the end of the game, and he just couldn't catch it. Like he almost had like the craziest one handed snag, but. Yeah, I just couldn't snag that one for us. But uh, we got real close on the Almond Raw St. Brown. We took him for over 109 and a half receiving yards, and he went for 110. So he beat it by half a point. So just real lucky on that one. But, yeah, um, uh, my Cowboys, very disappointed in them. I'm very sad today that 
better luck next year talk i hate that stuff um i wanted them to win and we should have beat the packers and yeah Jaden reed i took uh in the video before this one or the, before this demon one i took him uh with the combination yardage and he went for like 115 yards receiving so like if you think Jaden reed's a bad player you should probably not watch football anymore but <laughs> yeah yeah i'm such a huge fan of that guy yeah. but all right well let's get into the breakdowns for these demon plays um starting us off i'm gonna be going with josh allen over 59 and a half rushing yards i like i like this play uh specifically for the weather um he's capable of doing this regardless but uh, if we get into this breakdown here um he's very capable oh wait hang on a sec You're a <laughs> hang on okay here we go that's my bad <laughs> Hey, um, hey. <laughs> but so he actually did this um he's done this twice over the last 10 games and he hit this uh, against miami uh in the last game he played he went for 67 rushing yards um it's a huge part of his uh toolkit um and i just think you know like they did get the the field pretty clear but i still feel like um i still feel like if it begins to snow more or um we just we don't know what to expect but typically you know with uh bad weather games uh involving snow uh the rushing props tend to go um uh, a little bit you know it's like more likely to hit um because they they lean on the rushing more but he's that type of uh mobile quarterback regardless that could get this done um pittsburgh is uh 19th in rushing yards allowed um they're they're reasonably you know stacked uh, as far as like um defensively but i still like um i still like him in this and, and again these demon plays are plays that are more difficult to hit but um uh i'll i'll take this play where he's he's gone over this twice um in the last 10 games regardless um let alone with a game where the weather is kind of leaning more towards the run but you just never know what to expect they could go out there and it could become a shootout like um not as likely but it, it's just we don't know what to expect with the NFL because these are pro athletes and they figure out a way to get things done. But that's going to be my first play. Um, let's take a look at this over under. Um, <laughs> sorry, I just had to get a little Stephen A in there. But um, we got a 38 and a half over under with Buffalo favored by 10. Um, typically, we don't have to worry about starters getting sat for blowouts. But if this does get nasty, um, you know, I could see... Uh, Allen sitting the the fourth quarter so uh, just be careful with that um, always go with your gut and uh, take the plays you like but um, but I, I like Allen to to go over this line of uh, just 59 and a half I'm going to be taking a demon and then my next play um, I'm really excited about Kate Otten 39 and a half receiving yards um, take a look at this over under we've got uh, 43 point over under with uh, the Eagles favored by three Looks like that got adjusted a little bit. I think it was two and a half earlier. But um, again, I like, I, I, I'm hoping to see the Buccaneers get the upset here. Um, I, th I think uh, the home field advantage and uh, hopefully Baker just shows up in, uh, you know, in the spotlight here, which he he tends to enjoy. Um, but if we take a look at uh, Cade Otten, he's gone over this line um, four out of his last 10 games. And in his last game, he went for 30 against Carolina. So he only needs 10 more to cash this for us. Um, the Eagles are uh, 20th in receiving yards allowed specifically to tight ends. Um, and overall, they're 28th. So they're not great against, uh, against uh, you know, receivers um, in general. Um, with this line um, all the way up at 39 and a half, it is a plus 225 because it's a demon play. So obviously, um, it's a more difficult prop to hit. But... Um, but yeah, these are the two I'm gonna be rolling with. We're not getting into daily grind because they don't really cover the demon plays. So it's kind of just not really worth our time to break it down there. But but yeah, these are the two I'm feeling good about. What do you got for us, Jordy? Yeah, man, um, you know, I'm so stoked that we are partnered with Outlier now um, because we get these alt lines for the demons on Outlier. So it's, it's a really cool thing. Outlier is like one of my favorite things to use for like looking up stats and like like Russo was saying it, it is like the cream of the crop when it comes to statistics and finding good plays and stuff like that so I really like it it correlates so well with daily grind but um anyway to get into mine here I've got Dalton Kincaid for over his receiving yard demon at 59.5 uh, I found it on here on outlier 
it's a plus 290 obviously all of these are going to be in the plus you know they're not going to be taken often so but he's gone over this in four out of ten games so pretty good um you know 60 is not a lot for this guy he's come really close to it a couple times this year and uh andor gone over it but in the last couple of games he's been a huge part of what they're doing um and he's a beast man like this guy is a one of the best tight ends in the league i think personally but and he's a rookie like this guy for a rookie dude he's he's killer but um over the last two games he's gone for 87 and 84 against really tough defensive matchups for tight ends and in this one he's got kind of an easy one uh they're ranked 19th giving up 50.8 yards receiving to tight ends pittsburgh is so pretty good matchup here um the snow is calmed down a little bit so hopefully we get a little lucky with that um you know there are some notable injuries for the Steelers. Obviously, no TJ Watt, um, no Quan Alexander, and uh, no Keanu Neal. So pretty um, big parts. You know, Keanu Neal is a great um, coverage linebacker for that. I think he plays free safety too. But um, anyway, I like this play a lot for a demon. Um, I think he's going to be a big part of what they're doing tonight. They've been feeding him the ball a lot, and uh, you know they. They were coming close to missing playoff Buffalo, and they started to get this guy involved, and their offense looked a lot more alive. So I really like him to go over this one. So we're taking that one over. And then Mike Evans, touchdown. This is just, like, the most comfortable demon I could take on the board, honestly. Like, he's done this in 11 out of the 17 games he played. He played all 17 games this year and had 11, uh, 11 touchdowns. So that's pretty good. And he's got a fantastic matchup. Um, he's going against Philly. And they're ranked 31st in touchdowns allowed to wide receivers, giving up 1.7 a game. And their red zone defense is not far behind. It is pretty awful. So when it comes to throwing the football, you know, Baker Mayfield's been slicing and dicing this year. He woke up feeling dangerous or whatever you want to say. But, you know, uh, I think we're going to have a good game on our hands here. I'm hoping that we don't get a blowout like the last games and you know i guess detroit you know didn't blow them out but my cowboys got nuked so <laughs> that was not fun and Stephen a and uh russo here can go kiss some butts for that one <laughs> <laughs> but uh i'm taking mike evans for sure for over this team and this is kind of crazy for a multiplier and uh yeah that's the two i've got bro great so yeah that's the four we're rolling with guys um feel good about all four of these and um, I did forget to mention, um, yeah, it, we, we've partnered up with Outlier. We're really excited. We've been a huge fan of this tool uh, for a long time. And so um, they're giving all of our viewers a seven day uh, trial to see if you like, you know, the tool as much as we do. Um, so if you're interested in checking that out, just go through the link in the description of the video. That direct link will um, give you access to seven days of a free trial. And um, also, I forgot to mention earlier, uh, Chalkboard is a new platform that we've partnered up with. We're really excited about. Um, it's similar to Prize Picks, similar to Sleeper. Um, it's just a prop platform that um, allows you to actually make your own props. Um, so you can adjust the line. Uh, they give you all the different al um, alternative lines and you can build your slip out uh, by whatever lines you want, whether you want to make the, the prop a little easier and then the payout will be a little bit less or you can make it a little bit more like these demon plays and uh, you'll get a higher payout. Um, we're constantly making 100x six man slips on there um, that, that we feel really good about. So the thing I like about Chalkboard is you can make any play into a demon play and you can do that with NBA games. You can do that with any of the, uh, the sports that they cover. Um, it is, uh, it's uh, iOS only right now, but they're finishing up working on the Android version and the desktop version. It's a new company, so they're just, you know, getting the ball rolling, but they have a really cool thing going there. Um, no flex plays, unfortunately, but that's because they give you the upside of creating your own props. So if you're interested in checking that out, there's a link in the description of the video. Use code BACKDOOR and they will um, match your first deposit up to $100. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. And of course, um, don't forget uh, Daily Grind. Um, they're like awesome. They've, they've uh, been with us and helping us uh, support our channel for a long time now. We really appreciate them. They're giving all of our viewers 25% off of any of their tools. We've got uh, the DFS Optimizer, the Correlation Tool, all killer tools for NFL, for NBA. Um, you can't use Correlation in NBA, but you can in NHL, you can in um, CS2. So um, definitely check that out. Use code BACKDOOR to get 25% off of uh, any of the tools they offer. And uh, last thing, if you want to check out our Discord, there's a link in the description of the video. 
Um, and uh, again, uh, the only reason we didn't feature Daily Grind today is because of the demon plays. They don't cover those, obviously. But we hope you guys have a great day. And um, definitely, if you're looking to mix and match, uh, we already have our NFL video posted and our NBA video posted. So you can mix and match with those other plays. But we hope you guys have a great day. And we will catch you in uh, tonight's video for the NBA. Good luck, guys.